hello and welcome just a quick little video looking at a couple of well looking at one gun sorry I'll do the other gun on another video um, I tried doing this video a couple of times it's been a while since I've uploaded any videos uh, the last two time, times I've tried filming this the light was horrible so anyway let's get going I hate it when they waffle on too much uh, this is the Webley Mark VI service revolver in the battlefield finish. This is the rifle barrel, so we've got pellet. <laughs> now, I've always looked at these and you know liked them, but I'm not a big BB lover. I've got a Colt uh, Peacemaker, which is BB, but now they've released the pellet version, so I'll be getting one of them. Um, I liked it, but I'm just a pellet guy. I just prefer it. So this is the box, and let's see what you get in the box. You get in the box. That's just a couple of little rubbish bits. Just a generic, you know, not much to see box. Just a bit of cardboard. It's okay. It's better than some cases. So first of all, you get the. Uh, instruction manual this is all the modern instruction manual how to put the co2 in and everything uh, all pretty you know standard stuff now this i believe is what they used to get in the original gun small arms training so the uh, the army men that used to some nice illustrations there they used to uh, have to have these guns it's how to use it properly it's wear it and all that stuff. Which is very nice. I think that's a really good little um, addition. I'd love to find one of these, an original, just to compare the difference. Maybe there's one online I can look up. Um, yep, so that the manuals. And we'll get the gun out. I'll show you the gun. Here we are. Here's the gun. It's got the battlefield finish. Uh, that's the handle. Handle is plastic. Um, the originals apparently were Bakelite, which was the first sort of plastic made from crushed up beetles, I believe. Um, it's got the loop on the bottom, which also doubles up as the CO2 winder, as I will show you now. Pops off like that, and there's the screw for the CO2. So use that thumb screw. Won't do that now because this has actually got CO2 still in it. I don't want it hissing all over the place. I'm wasting my CO2. I would like to use it. Um, what else can we get to? There's the hammer. Uh, is it on? We are on safety. So little lever here. Sorry, wrong way around. So you lever here, pops that open. And I love these, this is such a good touch. That they even pop out. They actually retract in and out. I love that. So we take one of these out. It's just like the BB ones. A little pellet goes in there, nice little tube. Very elegant system, very easy system. Right, if we open this back up, we pop the rest out. Not too much noise. You can see in there. If you're into that sort of stuff. Apparently these are field strippable. They have been made from the original blueprints. Uh, there's not much else I can say. You got the safety on the side. If we put it on live, you can cock it. You can decock it by the usual means. Sorry, let me show you that again. Uh, it's really, really nicely made. I love it. It's absolutely perfect, in my opinion. Lovely weight to it and everything. Would have liked a little bit more weight in the handle. But 
you know that's something you you give up to where the CO2's got to go. Really nice overall gun. Not you know badly priced. Not you know extortionate or anything. A really nice gun. Not much else I can say. This is in this is in one seven seven. Uh, I'm sure my other videos were a lot, lot more comprehensive than this, but I've just sort of lost the wheel <laughs> after so many takes and losing so much footage. Uh, let me put that little way up so you can have a look. But yeah, really nice. Uh, you get quite a few rounds out of it, and I've I've never counted how many rounds I actually do. I'm um, you know I haven't got into that sort of stuff yet. Uh, it's just a quick overlook, you know, letting you guys know from somebody that has got no influences from um, any of these manufacturers. These are all my own guns. I purchased them all. I just make these videos for a bit of a lark. And, yeah, really nice. If you want one of these and you want it in pellet, I, I do recommend it. It's a really nice little gun. I'll show you how the these back in I would say the little rubber grommets that hold the pellets could be a little bit more um, tighter I do recommend you get the larger skirt pellets and they fit just that little bit snugger in there but um Hopefully I'm uploading this video before the other one. Um, I was shooting an LCD TV with this gun. For a bit of fun and see what happens. So check that out please. Um, on my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time hopefully. Bye.